7 News is your local election headquarters, and after last night's presidential debate, a big topic is mail-in ballots. It sure is, and if you're planning to vote this November, you've got options, and county supervisors say you can have confidence in the process. 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown breaks it all down. In the age of COVID and the concerns over social distancing, people are turning in their ballots early, and the elections officials say they're ready. This is the ballot. Yeah. For 90-year-old James Hunt, requesting, completing, and turning in his ballot is an easy process. I don't know why people think that they vote don't count. Every vote counts. If you don't vote, it still counts. He started voting in 1953 and always finds a way to cast his ballot. This year, all South Carolina voters can vote one of three ways, absentee by mail, absentee in person, or at the polls on election day. And because of COVID, all voters are eligible to vote absentee. You call our office, we mail it to you. You go online to scvotes.org, fill out the application form, uh, either email it or fax it to us. Uh, once we get the signed forms back, we can mail the ballot out to them. More and more people are turning in their ballots early because of busy schedules to avoid long lines or to make sure things are in proper working order. I trust the postal system, but I just want to be sure to come by here and drop it off myself and see to be sure that I did it correctly. Greenville County's elections director says be sure to sign your ballot when voting absentee and bring your ID when dropping the ballots off. However you decide to vote, they're doing their part to make sure voters are safe and every vote is accurately counted. We clean up our polling places, we're all masked up. Um, it's going to be a, a clean environment. Uh, our absentee voting system is good and the mail service is good, so we're comfortable with those. When casting your ballot, whether dropping it off or dropping it in the mail, time is of the essence. Reporting from Greenville, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. Now you can also vote in person well before Election Day. In fact, in-person absentee voting starts Monday, October 5th, this coming Monday, and it lasts all the way until November 2nd.